Have you always wanted to share your screen contents with others in just seconds? Perhaps to communicate an error message or for some other reason? I'm Manuel Ferlat from Team A Shampoo and today I'm going to show you how to create, edit and share screenshots in just a few seconds with A Shampoo Snap 12. Enjoy! Snap auto launches with Windows by default and displays a toolbar, the magic eye, at the top of your screen. Hover your mouse pointer over the toolbar to expand and reveal its features. The toolbar hosts two sections and you can use the dots to navigate between them. The big camera button in the center triggers scanning mode, which is perfect to capture rectangular portions of your screen as images. The recording button directly below enters video capture mode. Snap comes with a feature-rich editor accessible through the pencil button. You've probably guessed what the cogwheel button is for, and you're correct. It takes you to the program settings. Let's screenshot a portion of a website. Once I hit the scanning button, I position the mouse pointer over the area I want to capture. Snap then recognizes and surrounds it with a border. It's that easy. To confirm the selection, I left-click it and click again to capture the selected area and open the result in Snap's editor. I want a screenshot, so I use the camera button. The editor will then help me with editing and sharing the screenshot, but I'll come back to that later. For now, I just save the image. Snap scan mode is great, but what if I wanted to capture content that spans across multiple screen elements? No problem. Even in scan mode, I can still freely adjust the size and position of selections or create my own. Here's how. Instead of accepting the auto selection, I hold down the left mouse button and drag to create my own selection area. Once I release the button, I can make further adjustments with pixel precision thanks to the zoom window. As before, I then click the selection to capture the area and open the result in Snap's editor for further processing. One of the features I regularly use is the ability to capture websites in their entirety. Website contents usually go beyond the visible portion in your browser and rely heavily on scrolling. Snap can capture scrolling regions fully automatically, but we rely on browser manufacturers to support this feature. Currently, this feature is only available with Chrome and Edge. Let's capture an entire website in Microsoft Edge. Once I activate scan mode and move my pointer into the website, Snap instantly detects scrollability and displays a corresponding button. Once clicked, Snap scrolls and captures the entire site, and there is no need to manually rearrange the various portions afterwards either. Snap does it for you. What a great time saver! Let's take a closer look at Snap 12's editor. By default, the editor opens automatically with newly created captures, but you can also open it manually through the pencil button in the toolbar. The editor features three toolbars. Image editing and annotation tools are located on the left. General functions like undo and export functions are located as two separate toolbars on the right. These toolbars are expanded by default to reveal their text labels. Use the arrows to collapse them for more editing space. The tools on the left include the ability to add various objects like text, arrows and shapes and to highlight or blur specific image portions. 
let's pixelize an area to make it unreadable and highlight another by adding a border, an arrow, and finally sequential numbering. To pixelize an area, I select crop slash pixelate slash blur and drag to create a selection around the desired image segment. I then click pixelate. Drawing a border is equally easy. I first select shape followed by rectangle. Then I once again drag the mouse to create the rectangle object. I can adjust line width, color and fill style afterwards. Once I collapse the shape menu, I can easily access the arrow menu to draw the arrow. A straight arrow in my case. The adding procedure is again identical to the two previous steps. What a great way to draw attention to a particular image detail. Sequential numbering is achievable through the documentation menu. Numbered button adds a new auto-incremented number object each time I left-click into the image. Yet another time saver. My editing work is done. Time to email the finished image to a friend. I collapse the current toolbar and turn my attention to the export functions on the right. Send capture by email is the fastest way to email my image, as it will launch the system default email client and create a new email with the image as attachment. All that's left is for me to add a subject and hit send. Naturally, you can also just save the screenshot. That's it for today's tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. You'll find additional program details and a download link for Ashampoo Snap 12 in the description of this video. Have a good one and see you next time!